know. But man, it's like 70 degrees out here, and I am obsessing about stealth camping on the Blue Ridge Parkway. My first stealth camp I ever did was on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and I was actually inspired by um, not being able to find a campsite. I, and back then, I was actually, when I went motorcycle camping, I went to a campground. I didn't know any better. Um, but I wound up, uh, what was it, Pisca, Pisca Mountain uh, Recreation Area Campground. Anyway, I assume there's a campground up there. I can I can get a camp space. Nothing available. And that was the first time I was shut down. And ever since then, I've been just pissed off at campgrounds. So go figure. So stealth camping for me kind of started on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And if you haven't been, it's a, it's an amazing thing as long as you're not going in the fall <laughs> with, with all the leafers. Um, and probably on the weekends, if you can stay clear on the weekends, it's, it's just amazing. It's, you know, just, I don't know, it's like 600 miles of just twisty mountaintop roads. On top, it's like a ridge road that goes, you know, across mountains and mountains and mountains from like North Georgia up to Virginia so it's it's quite a uh, quite a journey but I've been obsessed with it and I just wanted to talk about that real quickly um, I have been obsessed with it I'm so obsessed with it I even pulled this out today to play with it's some uh, it's some cheap camo netting and when I say cheap it was really cheap every time I looked at camo netting I was like I ain't paying 50 bucks for that and this is what happens when you don't pay 50 bucks for a good camera. You get crap like this. But I still wanted to pull it out today, but it was so damn windy. The wind's still blowing out here. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the idea of going back up there and uh, doing some maybe a little bit more advanced stealth camping. And I just wanted to see if anybody else might be interested in joining me for that uh for that thing coming up, I don't know, middle of March to middle of April, I would say, some, in, somewhere in that time frame. And uh, I like I like the Blue Ridge Parkway for a number of reasons. Number one, it's beautiful, it's amazing riding. There's things to see all around. If you get off the Blue Ridge, any way you go down is amazing roads, you know, twisty, um, back and forth uh switchbacks just just everything around the blue ridge is amazing except the big cities um and the parkway is like a big golf course it's like a big long golf course and most of it i believe may if not all of it is uh federally owned land so in the event that it's something that uh you know hey some ranger some sheriff comes up and busts us in our stealth, stealth camp, we're not as stealthy as uh, as you might think. In the event we get busted, I mean, you know, it's we're camping on federal land, maybe maybe without permission. But uh, I would I would promptly try to talk our way out of any ramifications. But the I, I would say the the consequences would should be should be low. In the event that uh, that anyone um, winds up on the wrong side of this incident but uh, i just wanted to mention it because i've been obsessed with it like i said um and if you haven't been to the blue ridge parkway i would say that you need to get out there and go whether or not you're interested in doing this and all but I, I would also like to open an invitation for folks because i don't think i've ever invited anybody to go stealth camping with me but since that's one of my things um, I thought that might be might be a good opportunity for, you know, if I'm up there for a few days, it might be a good opportunity for several people to come up and just spend one day, two days with me um, and just kind of see how I do it. I have shot so much video <laughs> about how I find my spots, and I would say 90% of it never gets seen. It never gets published. And I, I Probably a year or two ago, I used to get that question all the time. Back when most of what I did, well, a lot of what I did for there for about a year was just stealth camping, stealth camping, stealth camping. I, I'm just kind of obsessed with it. Now I'm such an expert at it. <laughs> but I do want to share some of it. So 
you know, if nothing else, it's me by myself just setting up the camera and going in a little bit more detail about what I do, what I look for. Um, and, you know, a little bit lower consequence. Because a, a lot of times, uh, well, I don't want to say a lot of times, I like public land. I like camping on public land, whether that's local, county, state, or federal. I like camping on federal land because, you know, worst case scenario, I... I, I may deal with a guy with a gun, but hopefully he's got a he's got a cool temper, and it's not his land, <clears throat> which is the which is my hangup. Stealth camping on private property is people get kind of touchy, and I understand. I'm huh? former landowner. Um, I understand why people might get upset. You know, same thing if yeah, they catch you climbing in the in their daughter's window, they might get a little bit upset there too. Um, anyway. I just wanted to throw it out there. Let's see what you guys thought. I, I've been obsessed with it for the past few days. I mean, this is how bad it gets when you start thinking, oh, just like $10 thing is going to have my motorcycle. <laughs> going to need more work. So give me an opportunity to get out there and test some more things. I've been testing a lot of cooking things lately. You'll be seeing that. I've been doing a little bit of bushcraft. You might see some of that. Um, but yeah, I want to get back out there to my roots. All right, that's it. The more I became obsessed with getting back up here to the Blue Ridge Parkway and doing the thing I did back in 2010, uh, the more I started thinking about it. It's like, you know, I could probably uh, invite some people, anybody that wanted to come hang out, uh, try their hand at stealth camping, or just come out and see what I look for. Maybe hang out, even if you're not a camper, if you're not into stealth camping, it might be a good opportunity to come hang out on the parkway with me. Um, I think it will be a unique experience for anybody that hasn't really hung out on the parkway at all. I've got several spots in mind. There are quite a few spots to stealth camp, um, but you know, the, the better your technique is, uh, the more opportunities you will have. So. That's one of the things I'd like to maybe discuss too. So if you're interested, um, just drop a comment. You know, I kind of want to get an idea of how many people are interested, if any. If nobody's interested, I'll be up there and you'll see the video. But uh, I just kind of wanted to open it up. I know a lot of people are interested in stealth camping. I just don't know if anybody wants to develop techniques. So uh, that's all I got. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you in the video once it's done.